So the class I'm teaching is deductive systems, which is, as I talked about before, is a formal class. It's like doing a math class um, uh, with logic. Um, and so there, there were two problems I initially started with. Um, one is that the students have varied capacities. And so one of the difficulties with face-to-face -face is some get bored, some get lost. Um, and so it's hard to know how to, how to manage that. Hopefully, with hybrid, that'll work a little better. And the other problem is because it's hybrid um, and we don't have that much class time, um, it's important that the students work on the material before they come to class so they can figure out where they're getting stuck. It's like doing math and figuring out, I thought I understood this, but now I really don't. Which, and you have to practice before you can figure that out. Um, and what I did last time, and I did the same sort of this time, I'll tell you the differences, um, was I had quizzes and I had study questions. And I didn't time the quizzes, and I didn't require that the study questions be submitted and turned in. So the concern last time that got raised um, by the reviewers, and especially by the students, was that it would be too easy to complete the quizzes without doing the study questions. And I really wanted them to do the study questions because it's, it, it, it is something different than, an, than testing you on what you learned in doing the study questions. <clears throat> and so the question was how best to do this. And there were two suggestions. One was to time the quizzes. And the other was to require the students to submit the homework before they could do the quizzes. So what I did this time is I instituted both of those. Um, and so I did this, did the quizzes and study questions for um, most of another chapter. And um, this time I required that they turn in the study questions um, and that I, I also timed the quizzes. I gave them, a, I think, four hours, which I think is the maximum time. But at least it was timed so that you know they couldn't do everything in that time. Um, they could go back and look and check if they didn't understand something, but they, they couldn't do everything in that time. So hopefully, I think. Hopefully that's the case. Um, and so the idea then was that this would force them um, to actually do the reading and answer the study questions before they took the, um, the quizzes um, so that when they came to class, they'd be prepared. Um, and I had a concern when putting this together. One of the things I learned um, is that Blackboard is not set up for math or logic, um, that it only accepts numbers and letters. Um, which made both making the quizzes quite difficult, but, but I could handle that. Um, but what the implications are that it means it would be a huge pain for them to submit their, the answers to the study questions. For the first chapter, it would work because they're not logical symbols. For the later chapters, um, to submitting the study questions would be um, difficult because either the students would have to handwrite it, get, it get, get to a scanner, and scan them in, Right? Not everyone has access to a scanner, so I have concerns about that. Or they'd have to type it into a word processor or something like that, um, which is not easy to do. It's a huge pain. And my concern was I don't want them spending their learning time um, typing stuff rather than learning. So, um, so I had a concern. So I, I asked the reviewers, the, the, the student and the faculty member who reviewed, to, to, do the, to, to look at that. Um, and they said the same things, you know, the study guides were helpful, quizzes. Um, do you all want to see the quizzes? Is this the same yeah, as last time? Should we? Yeah, we want to see the developed. The, the, the same thing, okay. just happened. Okay. 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 So these are the study questions. Give you an idea of the instructions, tell them what they have to do, the study questions that they have to answer. And the idea was to have them do just the starred ones. The other ones were a little bit more difficult to, to do so to submit them. No, I was able to do the quiz in Blackboard. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I couldn't the, the difficulty is submitting them having to do this and submitting it. I mean, I've, I've had experience, you know, using, making these symbols in Word, but even I, you know, it's a pain. It's, you know, you have to do the insert. And it, it takes time. Um, so my concern is that they would have to do that for submitting the homework, if that makes sense. Um, and so I just, you know, my concern is that I don't want them spending all their time just doing this. So. 
Well, I, it's not the study questions, really. I mean, the, I, I, the quizzes are multiple choice, but that's a different learning experience than mm -hmm. the study questions, which are meant to prepare you for the quizzes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, what, what, my worry is that what would end up happening is I'd have a quiz they did on their own and then a the quiz they did on Blackboard, and I'm not really sure. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I'm not really sure what. what yeah, good. So, so anyway, does that give you an idea of the study questions? OK. Um, yes. OK, and they could submit. Actually, they have to. They actually have to submit it. In order to see the quiz, submitting a blank sheet. Now you can see the first quiz. Are you using adaptive? I'm using adaptive, really. So they would have had to submit the answers to the study questions for the first section, then they could do the quiz, then the study questions for the. Well, they could submit the study questions. That didn't matter when they, when they did that, but they couldn't see the quiz for that section until they submitted it. So I'm just going to. Put it answers in here. So, so what I did, well, here's, here's my solution to, to doing this. Um, well, hold on. Um, for some reason, I guess that's not what I meant to do. How do I get back to where I want to get out deliverables? Sorry. Oh, here you go. So what, the way I solved the problem with the logical symbols is I just attached a PDF with all the questions. And then they, sub, then they would put the answers in there. Does that make sense? And this I did multiple choice. But you know, doing multiple choices. Okay. It will allow you to upload PDF files of okay. individual questions and answers. Yeah, I mean, I thought of doing that. Um, I was concerned about that being more complicated. So rather than do one for, for you, it's complicated yeah. for you. Well, and, and, and for them too, they have to do for each question. They, I, may, 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 I mean, we, we can talk about this. Maybe that's a better way to do it. Maybe it's worth my time to do it. This is, this is how I did it. I mean, I started doing it that way. And I would have PDF for each question, for each quiz. It'd be a lot of PDFs. But I, I could do that. I mean, um, and it might be something, even if I don't do this time around, if I do, you know, if I do three times, I do that time. So the, that's the quiz. And then you put your answers in. Does that give you is that enough of that? Okay. So. Um, Sorry, I'm not sticking my time limit on. So basically, the feedback I got was um, that maybe I should just have the quizzes be timed, and that that's how I should force them to do the homework, rather than spending the time, um, you know, either finding a scanner or um, learning how to type it in to a word processor to submit it. Um, that's what both the student and the faculty member in general thought. So. Are time frames just a much shorter time frame? So you can well, I think four hours is fine. I mean, my, my concern is just that they're not. Um, trying to do all the study questions and the quiz all at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. So it, I don't mind, because I, I mean, the quiz, the whole point of the quiz is not to, is to get them to learn the stuff, force mm -hmm. them to learn it. So I don't mind if they run into a, a quiz question and they feel like, well, you know, I, I don't. Under, I need to go back and look to figure this out. That's fine with me. Um, I just don't want them to be able to skip doing all the other stuff. If that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. How about if if they had to give you the story guide by hand, since your concern is the typing, even if it's whenever you meet and and you'll just I could see do that. it and check that they did it and just say even after the fact they they. I mean, what, depending on when your class is and when the quiz was and all sure. that. But <clears throat> I mean, it's a I could do that. Way, so if, if that part is not working and you still do yeah. the quizzes and you still time out and you say, 
I'll get, I want to see your study guide and I'll make a check and you do a two or three percent for study sure. guides or whatever. Sure, and then I could do it even after the fact. So yeah. they could do it after the fact, but why would but they if they're going to have to do it? But the whole thing is that they do it. That's right, that they and do it. And the learning. That's so. right, that's right. Actually, that's true. So that might be a way to solve it. Another um, thing yeah. I was thinking is maybe kind of pseudocode, so they just write in square brackets sideways U or whatever the code is. They could they yeah. could do that. And I mean, just they declare what the symbol, because that's fast enough to type. They could. I mean, and, and that's what, you know, I, I, I have done in places, you know, just in case. Well, I did PDF so they wouldn't have this problem, right, but, but you know, for if I were doing it. Guys, if you wanted to keep it online. Yeah, they could do that. I mean, it gets, when you have a long sentence, mm -hmm. it gets pretty... Right. Still yeah, gets pretty complicated, but yeah. but they could, you know, um, this horseshoe, this triple bar, this, you know. I mean, it just, it, yeah. But I mean, that that would be a possibility, a clunky possibility, but a possibility. I don't know how you guys yeah. would say them, and so if thus there's a verbal equivalent. There are verbal equivalents, yeah. But um, yeah. We we have run into problems with mathematical expressions yeah. in the past. We have some faculty who've been helping us with it. There's also a, pro <coughs> a software program called Respondus okay. that is sort of a complement to the Blackboard quiz and assessment engine that you know, we have thought about getting in the past, have, haven't always right. seen whether or not there was enough demand and people have done work around. Right. What you're presenting that is the problem, I don't, don't put it this wrong way, I don't mind making you go through the hoops right. to kind of construct the quiz and That's right. the answers, and I don't either. but when you need to have the students submit mathematical expressions right that's where it gets challenging that's right and that's what you know I don't not only do I have experience doing it and it's a pain but you know it's I don't want to I also don't want to spend my time teaching them how to do that right. I mean that's just that seems like a not very good use of the limited time we're gonna have in the classroom I, I think, so. I think it, the suggestion that if they do the study questions make that the face-to-face -face component yeah and the quiz I what, what's the quiz doing for you what is the it quiz accomplishing for forcing you? them to do this mm -hmm. I guess so it might do it by itself where I don't even need to <coughs> require that they do that they turn in the study question they're gonna have an exam at the end that's like uh, the quiz itself. oh they're gonna have an exam yeah they're gonna be um, was it three or four four exams I think okay. so yeah so and the quizzes are in a sense kind of, kind of like practice exams right getting yeah the they, sort of questions that they'll well them. not necessarily mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, so I mean that that's part of the reason that they need to do the study questions. So, I mean the the, the limitations that I have within Blackboard limit how I can write the quizzes. Mm -hmm. I don't have that with face to face questions, mm -hmm. right? So I'm not going to limit my exams to that. Right. Um, so I mean that's why, I, in a sense, I want them to do both. I don't just it's not just multiple choice. I mean, and you know when we get to no, I haven't figured this out yet. When we get to them doing proofs, that's going to be a different way. Right. I have to figure out how to set that up to test that to quiz it. I know how to test it. Setting up quizzes in that Blackboard is going to be a little yeah, bit more complicated, but that, that I can figure it out. We need to do some homework and see yeah. if we can do that. Help yeah. me on that. Yeah. Now, the, one of the reasons you wouldn't want to get away, uh, don't do the study guide, is because if I remember correctly, the last time you wanted the study guide to make sure, because of the quiz is multiple choice, yeah. they could spend a half hour just trying to get it right, right? I'm well, they can't retake it. Oh, they cannot. No, they can oh, only take it once. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and, and partly for that reason. Oh, okay. 